please silence your cell phones. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your master of ceremonies for the evening, News for WOAI Meteorologist, San Antonio native and Tejano Conjunto fan, Mike Hernandez. Buenas tardes, how are y'all? Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 37th annual Tejano Conjunto Festival in San Antonio and this evening's Hall of Fame induction ceremony. Um, I'd like to welcome you to the beautiful and historic Guadalupe Theater right here in the heart of San Antonio on the west side. And I grew up just a few blocks from here, so it's been really, really something to see this, this uh, especially Guadalupe around this area, uh, be taken care of through the years, and, and it's such a beautiful place to be around. So again, right off the bat, how about a hand for all our honorees this evening? You know, music is pretty special because uh, if you're like me, and I see a lot of folks like me out there, um, this music is, is kind of the soundtrack of our lives. You know, you hear some of these songs and right away you're 15 again and you're trying not to step on your girlfriend's feet dancing. Um, and, and for me, I can hear some of this music because it was just a part of my life. Um, growing up, I grew up in two worlds. How many grew up in the 60s and, and early 70s in that era? So we grew up in two worlds. We grew up in, in the Mexicano culture, but we also grew up with rock and roll yeah. as it was starting. So I was kind of a Mexicano hippie. I had the long hair. But still, on Fridays and Saturdays, not, on Saturday nights, we went out and listened, and we went to dances, and and the conjunto music, the later the Tejano music, and uh, all of that for us, the big bands, remember Phoenix Solis and Paul Elizondo, and uh, all those bands that brought us together, brought our culture together. Uh, it, it's made what we are so special in music because it intertwines in our thoughts and in, in, our, in who we are. It, it is something that's so important. So these artists that, that have put this music together for, for all these years and put their hearts into it, um, it, you all need to know how important you all are to the, the very fabric of who we are as people. So again, thank you so much for, for all that you've done for us and all you're going to continue to do for us. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Alright, so now I'd like to introduce to you the Executive Director of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center, uh, Ms. Cristina Bailly. And Ms. Baye has uh, over 20 years of experience in nonprofit community based work and over a decade in Latino arts programming and administration. She's a native of Brownsville, Texas, and she's a graduate of Our Lady of the Lake uh, yeah. University right here in San Antonio, right down the street. Christina has made a significant impact statewide, leading major cultural institutions such as the Narcio Martinez Cultural Arts Center in San Benito, and the Texas Folk Life based in Austin. Please join me in welcoming Christina Bay. Thank you everybody. We're very excited and happy to see you here, um, especially in what was short notice. <laughs> we put out the announcement of this event um, not too long ago, and uh, it, we're really happy to see the interest in uh, honoring our music, our culture. I know many of you are here just because you know that this is a very heartfelt program, you know, where we get to do a little bit of reconocimiento of nuestra cultura. Um, I want to share with you uh, a note from our Congressman Lloyd Doggett, who wanted to be here today but, but couldn't be. He says in a letter, Though I'm unable to be with you personally since I am in Washington, D.C. for votes, I want to recognize the contributions of the 2018 inductees into the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame. My heartfelt congratulations to Felipe Perez and Samuel Ramos Sr. and to the families of the late Alma Garza and the late Emilio Navaira. 
For 37 years, the annual Tejano Conjunto Festival has been a reminder of the unique music and traditions that emerged from the shared cultures of Native American, Spanish, and other European individuals who all have called San Antonio and South Texas home in our 300-year history. Tonight, we celebrate the vibrant history and cultural significance of Conjunto music, which has survived the test of time and its influence spans generations. I understand that this event is supported by the National Endowment for the Arts, the NEA, an agency that has aided the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center and vital programming it offers. During these challenging times for our country, when President Trump has urged the termination of all funding for the NEA, for the National Endowment for the Humanities, and for the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, it is important to recognize the contribution of the arts to our society and to showcase the amazing talent in San Antonio and across the United States. I am pleased that at a time when funding is under attack, the sweet sounds of accordion and a good story told through song of a Tejano, a working class family, can inspire us to continue the fight for those whose values we share and cherish. Congratulations again to the inductees on, our well on your well-deserved recognition. I applaud the staff of the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center for your daily efforts to promote music, art, dance, and to preserve conjunto history. Congressman Lloyd Doggett. Just a few acknowledgments, like the letter says, this program is uh, funded by the National Endowment for the Arts. Uh, we got a very generous grant from them. There's not a whole lot of programs in San Antonio or in many cities you know, that are funded by the NEA, and the Tejano Conjunto Festival is one of them, so we should all be very proud of that. <laughs> and our next biggest funder, guess who that is? Any guesses? Bud Light. <laughs> of course. So Bud Light, thank you very much. They, they have been funding us for many, many years. AARP is also a very generous funder of the Conjunto Festival, and not just the festival, but many programs at the Guadalupe all year round. Honor Accordions is a big, big supporter of our festival. Uh, Mr. Gilbert Reyes will give him a shout out. This is the first year he's missing the festival, and he told me to tell everybody that, that he's sad that he can't be here this year. The City of San Antonio Department of Arts and Culture uh, funds the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. United Healthcare Avenida Guadalupe is a good partner of uh, the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. Fox 29, News 4, and CW35. We also have some really, really important, um, they're not sponsors, they're, and, or part, they're partners, but really they're friends. You know, these are our friends that have really worked with us very, very hard to promote the festival. And, and you know, we, we have uh, been developing some really nice, significant, important relationships um, con estos amigos que son nuestros amigos de queda, este Mr. Jerry Benavides en el Science y todo el equipo. Vic G's Promotions, Vic is always working for us. Bossman's, Efren Bossman. And don't forget this year, official after party, Saturday night at Bossman's. So that's an official after party. And Far West Rodeo with Mr. Rudy Lopez. And also an official after party there, Friday night. We will have an official after party at Far West. Everybody come as you are from the pocket. Don't worry about changing. And, you know, to both uh, Far West and Bossman's, you know, we can all continue the party there. Um, and then uh, some, some wonderful partnerships as well. We're very excited to have Texas Public Radio um, helping us and joining us and helping us. Y también este, nuestros amigos de Radio Bilingüe. We're very excited to have you. 
todo el equipo de Radio Bilingüe que viene a cubrir el festival. Um, they uh, have, uh, they're, they're based in Fresno, California. It's a network of Spanish language public radio stations. I don't know how many stations they have in the country. I should know this. But uh, aquí en Texas, they have stations in Crystal City. They just opened up one in Zapata, and I believe in, in Uvalde is another one. Uh, and so, so those are the network of, of radio stations here. And the one in, in um, Zapata covers all the way down to McAllen. So that's a big coverage area. Um, and uh, they're here to cover, also supported by the National Endowment for the Arts, for, with a grant from the NEA. They were able to travel here and um, record the festival and broadcast it on their network of radio stations. So we're happy that you're able to join us this year. And Radio Bilingüe has a, a long history y amistad with the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center. Okay, uh, last I just want to really, really recognize them, our, nuestro equipo de aquí de Guadalupe is all the volunteers who have been helping for many years. They're the rest of the familia here of the Guadalupe. And then the staff of the Guadalupe Pobrecitos, they've been like really working really hard, especially this week. Um, so, you know, I, all I can do is feed them lunch, you know, and try to keep them well fed. But they've all been working very, very, very hard. Um, and I, um, so I'm, you know, I'm, this, you know, I'm, I'm just very happy, moved, and touched with all the effort that they have put in. Okay, uh, yeah, I said too much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christine. Let me put my eyeballs on again. Hey, how about the food? Wasn't the food great? What's the weather for tomorrow? Hot. Oh, it's not going to rain. No. Don't hold me to that. <laughs> All right. Uh, right now, I'd like to introduce the founder of the Tejano Conjunto Festival and former Chicano Music Program Director for the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center, Mr. Juan Tejera. Yeah. Mr. Tejera most recently was lead faculty for the Palo Alto College uh, Center for Mexican American Studies in San Antonio and a full-time tenured instructor of Mexican American Studies and Music. An accomplished musician, he is a songwriter and the button uh, accordionist for the Conjunto Aslan. A published author and editor, he, along with his wife, Anisa, are the owners and publishers of Aslan Libre Press, an independent company based in San Antonio that is dedicated to publishing, promotion, and free expression of indigenous Chicano literature and art. Put your hands together for one. Gracias, Mike. Uh, gracias a todos ustedes por estar aquí celebrando el 37 aniversario del Tejano Conjunto Festival en San Antonio. Yes, I'm very excited. Um, first of all, that I'm still alive. <laughs> no. And, and that 37 years ago, we began this festival and that the festival is still alive because yes because there were some years that some people were saying that the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center and the Tejano Conjunto Festival and all of the programs were going to go under that it wasn't going to exist anymore pero gracias a Dios gracias a ustedes gracias to the funders and to uh, the board and the staff, they've kept it going, they've kept the center going, and they've kept the Tejano Conjunto Festival going for 37 years. It's the oldest festival dedicated to Conjunto music in the world. It is the granddaddy of all the Conjunto festivals. And I remember uh, 37 years ago, and, and even 38, because we started, there was an, uh, an, an initial Conjunto Festival 38 years ago. A lot of people don't remember that. Um, it wasn't the Tejano Conjunto Festival. The year before, there was a Conjunto Festival, 
but we had just Valerio Longoria play at Sunken Gardens, one band, and then there was three or four bands that played at, um, at La Villita, at the river. Um, so for me, it wasn't as much of a festival that first year, even though it was called the Conjunto Festival, it was more of a concert. So the second year, we, uh, we decided to call it the Tejano Conjunto Festival, and that was the first year that then we implemented the poster contest for middle school students, uh, high school, college level, and open category. The, the goals of the festival were to preserve and promote Conjunto music, and these goals are still the same goals 37 years later that we've had to preserve and promote Conjunto music, to honor those roots, pioneers, la gente importante that have contributed a lifetime to Conjunto Music. So we developed that second year the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame to present the best in Conjunto Music and to educate ourselves and our community y todo el mundo about what Conjunto Music is and the importance that it plays for our people. And uh, so I, I think in, in a lot of ways that he, we have accomplished our goals, though each year we keep, we keep learning and we keep growing and that's the way it should be. And uh, there were some years, because I left after the first 18 years, I left the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center in 1998. Uh, there were some years during that time that they stopped doing uh, the poster contest, that they stopped doing the magazine, that they stopped doing the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame. And then in 2007, they asked me to come back after eight years um, to help them direct the festival. And then I directed it for 10 years, but this time as a part-time employee because for the first 18 years, I was a full-time employee here at the Guadalupe, the Chicano Music Program Director. And then in 2007, I directed it for 10 years as part-time with the staff here at the Guadalupe. And then Christina came in a couple of years ago and I retired from Palo Alto College and I stepped back, though I'm still working uh, in an under contract with the Guadalupe, more as a mentor and as an advisor uh, for the Tejano Conjunto Festival. So I'm still involved. Um, I'm not gonna leave. And I'll probably be here and hasta que me muera. <laughs> Aquí con el Guadalupe, porque it's an important center in the festival. Uh, is important to our people in para todo el mundo. So the, the Conjunto Music Hall of Fame and induction ceremonies has always been a very important part of the Tejano Conjunto 